Hey everybody, I'm Troy from Peak Dirtworks. I thought I'd go over a few of our attachments from Caterpillar today. Uh, behind me, I've got our 259 D3 with a 92 inch uh, six way dozer blade. And on the other side, I've got our 299 D3 XE with the 92 inch six way dozer blade, uh, which is the smart attachment with operator assist. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fire up our 259 D3 with the standard 92 inch uh, six way dozer blade. And we'll go over some of the controls and maybe some of the features, as well as maybe a few tips that I have for when we use it. Okay, we're gonna go over the uh, basic functions of the standard 92 inch uh, six way dozer blade from Caterpillar. Uh, obviously on your right hand stick, your boom and bucket functions remain the same with the up and down. You're gonna be able to you know, roll and curl your bucket. Uh, obviously that just changes the angle of the blade. I feel like it's uh, beneficial to keep the uh, boom on the boom stops when using this blade and then just modulate your uh, blade up and down by using the, uh, the curl functions of the bucket. Uh, to do the angle of the blade, it's set up on the thumb roller. You push the thumb roller up, the right side goes forward, you pull it back, the right side comes back. I think it angles 30 degrees each way. Uh, to do the tilt function on your left hand joystick, you're gonna do the bottom right button. And then when you do that, if you push up, the top, uh, the right corner is going to come up, push down, the right corner is going to go down. So that's where you have your six way controls. Uh, the only downside to that is you can't do both. You can't angle and uh, tilt the blade at the same time. It's going to have to be one or the other with this uh, manual non smart blade. Okay, another thing I like to do when we are um, using this dozer blade is. Um, I feel like you need to go kind of slow when you're using a dozer blade. A lot of people get in a hurry, and that's where you start porpoising, going up and down, just because you can't keep your uh, blade and your seat feel when you're moving too fast. So we also use, on this left-hand joystick, you'll see the snail, which is the creep mode of the skid steer. A lot of times we'll push that and engage it, and uh, you can't see it right now, but up here on the display screen, there's gonna be a snail mode that's engaged, and I can use that to, um, moderate the speed no matter how far you push this forward you'll only go that specific speed and that works really well for these dozer blades because you can not you can you know make sure you're just worried about the blade without having to worry about modulating your speed um, and it gives you a lot more controlled push and can give you a lot better results um, I'd like to go over a little accessory we've put on our standard 92 inch six-way dozer blade we've got a slope meter which is reading in percent and you can see right here it's, I think it's around 4% right now. Uh, this is a super helpful tool when you're trying to uh, crown driveways, crown roads, or if you're trying to do a level pad and you wanna keep it at zero. Uh, it just gives you an indication of where the, uh, the blade is at all times, and it's very easy to see because it's right in front of your face. And in real time, as you're, uh, you're operating the dozer blade controls, you can keep this where you want it to be. All right, something I'd like to point out on the uh, the dozer blade carriage, and it's actually the same on both the standard and the smart blade, is that the dozer carriage is not parallel with the ground when the blade is uh, flat on the ground. And we're, we're act actually on a pretty flat surface right now. Um, but for the actual correct geometry for a dozer, you'd want that carriage to be parallel with the ground. So what we've done to correct that is we've actually built some uh, prototype boom stops spacers that we put in and I'll put those in and then come back and do another video and show you guys what it does to this carriage um, and then we'll talk about why that is beneficial. To safely install the boom stop spacers you're going to want to lift the lift arms and put the lock in place uh, for safety. Uh, you can then install the boom stop spacers and then uh, return the lift arms to normal. Even with the boom stop spacers installed, we made sure there was still clearance so that the door could be opened. So as you can see with those boom stop spacers, we've improved that angle of the uh, dozer carriage and made it more parallel with the ground. Um, it probably could be a little more parallel, but we've also got to balance that with the fact that we've got to be able to open the cab door and we can't have those spacers uh, make the lift carriage interfere with the opening and closing of the door. This definitely helps when angling the blade left and right uh, to help you not dig the corners one way or another because obviously with the manual blade, 
as you're angling, you're not going to be able to use the tilt function at the same time. And as you angle the blade, bringing the corner back towards the machine, if the carriage isn't parallel, you can either dig or raise that corner. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing an additional video to show you the advantages of the 92-inch Smart Dozer Blade by Caterpillar with Operator Assist.